watching Hard Knocks. Baby just made some dinner for himself. <laughs> eating good shit, eating peanut butter. <laughs> we really don't, we haven't like cooked each other a meal in a really long time. He's on prep or he was on prep. We're just on different eating schedules. So we haven't actually sat down and made each other meals in a really long time. Wow. Wow, look at those shoulders. <laughs> Not missing, they're repairing it. He's getting his bicep uh, sewn back together. <laughs> Decided to tear his bicep because it's my birthday weekend, so he wanted all of the attention for him. Um, so he went and tore his bicep out of photo shoot so that he can have all the attention on my birthday weekend. Typical Bradley move, actually. Today's surgery day for the big man. What do we got in there? Green beans? The green beans for the goose. Ooh, one-handed, not a good idea. So Brad got up at like four? 350. 350. Uh, he went and trained and did cardio and trained a client because he's fucking crazy. And he has surgery today at 2 p.m. to repair his bicep that he tore. Pretend to love me on camera. Pretend to love me on camera. You don't have to love me in real life. He does. And he has terrible handwriting, so no one can ever read. Yeah, so fucking hurry and get the car come back so you can write this shit. <laughs> Gotta go, guys. It's unlocked. You're gonna have to vlog. I can't do all of the things, Bradley. Is it facing you? Yes. Why do you put it so low? Uh, Such a boy thing. All right, so we are on our way to the surgical center. Um, I'm crazy and I went to the gym this morning and I did a full body, upper body pump. Uh, His last pump even, for a while. My last pump up, gotta keep my gains. Uh, even tried to do a psychopath. Even tried to do some bicep curls, my right bicep. What an idiot! That's barely attached. Children, don't do this shit at home. It, listen, I, I can't screw anything up because the doctor is just going to go in there and he said he's just going to take his finger and detach the rest of the like what? couple of <laughs> fibers of tendon that are left stuck. Uh, so God. even if I tore off those couple of fibers, it was just doing him a job. Oh my God. Uh, I went up in the posing room and I took some photos for you guys to uh, document day one of this whole procedure. The road to recovery, the road to the O2020. <laughs> um, Anything for some content, right? Uh, content I, coming at you. I, I want to do the Arnold and I want to try to get to the Olympia in 2020. That's, uh, that's my goal and then I'm retiring. Then uh, did a little bit of cardio and uh, trained a client. And when I was putting him through some functional training stuff, I was feeling extra spicy. And uh, I did some functional training stuff along with him. Uh, I woke up this morning. Um, today is day four of the 16 hours of intermittent fasting along with the ketogenic diet. I uh, started out day one at 241 and I was down to 235 today, so I'm about six pounds. Uh, the week before, right after show, um, ate a bunch of crap, not like consistently. I fasted a lot, uh, but uh, my stepdad was in town for a few days. You know, I, I flew home from Tampa and was only here for a few days before I flew to Dallas. So I just wanted to enjoy some time with him. You know, there's some food places that uh, my mom had gone to when she came out by herself that he wanted to go to. And so, you know, I'd fast all day and then uh, have like a junk meal. When I got out to Dallas, I just kind of enjoyed myself, um, you know, after the photo shoot, obviously. Uh, well, during the photo shoot, I ate probably 700 pounds of candy because <laughs> I shot for eight hours. So I just tried to keep a pump. Uh, they just had a bunch of uh, Swedish fish and Sour Patch Kids and Rice Krispie Treats and stuff like that. So I was pounding all that. Uh, then, you know, ate whatever they had at dinners. And one of my clients bought me donuts from this place, Momo's Donuts, that were amazing. And I ate probably, I'd say, four donuts total. I just took pieces off every one of them. 
Um, so I kind of ate like crap and just enjoyed myself a little bit and then uh, got into the keto. And, uh, so I'm surprisingly extremely upbeat and positive. Where is this uh, police driving by at a very large intersection. Um, I'm extremely positive about everything, to be honest with you. Most people would be down and out, and, uh, you know, the initial kick in the balls of knowing that it popped, you know, it was frustrating, but, uh, you know, truly, like I keep saying, this is the, the perfect time and place for this to happen. I plan on kind of doing this whole functional training athletic phase for a little bit and doing the intermittent uh, fasting with keto anyway, and I plan on losing some muscle tissue um, just because I just wanted to focus on health and, and performance more than just uh, packing on tissue. Um, you know, I, so truly, I think this is going to benefit me as an athlete overall. I am 100 miles an hour, go, go, go all the time. I haven't given my body a break at all. Uh, so this is kind of a forced break. So the rest could be very beneficial for me. I, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to come back absolutely better than ever. And also, I ruined my poor wife's birthday weekend. We wanted to get away for the weekend. <laughs> uh, I had originally booked uh, a few nights in Vegas at uh, Badara Hotel. And we were just going to have a little romantic weekend getaway. But uh, sorry, boo. So now I'm going to go to Vegas and leave his ass to recover on his own. All good to me. Um, Just kidding. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm truly, truly positive and upbeat about this. Uh, I'm not just putting on a show for you guys. I'm actually kind of fucking twisted in the head, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I like surgery. I like I like stories. I'm a guy, you know, like flipping my motorcycle a couple times and becoming near death and flipping my truck once. Oh my and, god, you are stupid. You know, uh, a crazy. <laughs> snowboard accident that ripped my glute muscles, uh, you know, off the attachment, and, you know, all that stuff is like, it's cool stories to tell. Hey, I, I tore my bicep off and I'm surgically repaired and here I am still kicking ass, you know, it's, so it just, it adds to my legend. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I actually am kind of looking forward to this surgery. So I'm weird, but, uh, Hey, whatever it takes to stay up being positive. Right. So we're on our way in. Uh, they are going to do a distal uh, biceps tendon reattachment and they will drill a hole through my radius bone um, and then they will sew on with this really strong poly string that is like fishing wire like oh, crazy God. like 300 pound tensile fishing wire as long as you're not curling through 300 pounds you're fine uh, right so they sew that on the end of the tendon. What the fuck? Are you just going to ignore me? Yeah. I'm sitting I am, right here. I am ignoring you. Uh, so they sew that on the end of the tendon, and they also sew this little, like, button, metal button on there, and they drop that through the hole, and they flip the button up, and that anchors at the bottom, and then they're able to pull the sutures tight, which sucks the tendon down into that hole, stitch everything around there, and that's where the growth point starts. Um... I just got in contact with an HRT clinic that has peptides, uh, BPC-157 and TB-500 are two peptides that uh, show um, great help in healing. They reduce overall inflammation. Uh, one is systemic and one is more of a localized thing. But there's a lot of studies in orthopedists, uh, although they can't prescribe it, they highly recommend it if you can get it. Um, you know, so I have some growth hormone, I have that, um, you know, doing everything I can in my, in my power to heal as fast as possible. And I believe the folks over at new fit are sending us another newbie to help, uh, speed up my recovery process. So, uh, doctors say 16 weeks, I'm going to say 10 weeks. I'll be back. So I say five. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll be training legs probably by Tuesday or Wednesday. No, you're not. I already spoke to all of your clients, uh, and I told them to lose your fucking number because no one's going to call you next week. No one's answering you. I already spoke to all of them. No. So you don't have clients next week. You forget about that. I am not. I told everybody I'm not going to pick anything up, but more likely by Wednesday I'm going to be stir crazy. So I plan on going back to work by Wednesday at the latest. You no, know, it's not, guys. I just told everybody I can't unrack and rack weight, so you got to do all that shit, but... My jaw ain't broke, so I can bitch your ass out to get your ass moving. Um, 
Yeah, so that's it. We're uh, on the highway a few minutes away and uh, get the show on the road. Keep checking in. I'm going to keep you guys updated. I gave him this camera to tell you guys that he's down five pounds from fasting today. And that's the rant he just went on. You were supposed to tell one story, Bradley. We're doing a whole <laughs> summary. Angry. No, it's just typical Brad. Just my wife likes to make things complicated. I'm not park near the entrance. Oh, shut up. You're just a pain in the ass. You just want to complain about everything. Thank you. All right, we just got word Brad finally got into surgery. He was supposed to start surgery at 2 p.m. It is 4.50, and they're finally wheeling him into the operating room. Uh, so I'm going to leave now because the procedure is only supposed to take about an hour. And I have to go get his elbow brace downstairs before picking him up. I'm gonna walk this way because this room's a disaster and I don't need you guys to see it. Um, but because I've been running around all day today, when I dropped him off, the nurse did let me know that the doctor was running a little behind. She said, oh, it probably won't be more than an hour. And so I just went and like did some errands. I, like a dumbass, didn't bring any meals with me. So I did some errands and then I was gonna go back to the hospital to pick him up, but they hadn't started so I came back home and I just got carried away with some work. Hey, 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 children, children. Which helps promote healing, a little bit of way I slid, some super greens. Yeah, now that you're waking um, up a little, you can feel some, it. Some uh, white chia seed flour, now which is iron omegas. Some fiber so I don't get constipated. <laughs> Then I Thank have some you, pork Bradley. Rinds and a ketogenic cookie. Are you really? You guys do eat pork rinds on keto, don't you? Yeah, it's a good little snack. Yeah. So. He's like packed himself a little <laughs> post-surgery <laughs> snack. I love it. I love it. Always prepared. <laughs> you want your cookie? Where are you going pork today? Rinds first. Uh, you want the one that's open? Uh, no, just that little, the little one. Else. This is what he packed himself, guys. <laughs> what did you say the first thing you said to me? Do you remember? When I see how you were feeling? I just wanted to make sure you had a. You said, I feel simple. You look pretty simple to me. What you eating? Keto cookie. A keto cookie. The nice ladies here offered him crackers and he denied. <laughs> I would have. I'm gonna jerk. Even, even high as a kite, he knows he's on keto. <laughs> <laughs> Did we do anything at post surgery last night? Huh? Did we do anything post surgery last night? Uh, just you. Hi. No. <laughs> How you feeling? So just woke up uh, for the first night of surgery. Uh, when I got out, <clears throat> everything was fine. Uh, surprisingly, had a lot of pain in my arm. I wasn't really expecting that. They wanted to avoid doing a nerve block, and they kind of told me that I'd probably feel some significant pain. Because uh, when they do a nerve block, you can't feel your fingers and you have no function of uh, the muscles, and the surgeon wants to make sure that you can know, fuck anything up, basically. Um, so he wants to know that you know you can move your fingers and, and feel everything. Um, so they try to avoid it if possible, but uh, when I got back, I was in a decent amount of pain. And then just took, I don't know what it was, painkillers, food, or antibiotics, or whatever, all together. But uh, I never get nauseous, and uh, I was feeling pretty nauseous for a while, so. Which made me a little nervous. Tried watching a movie, and luckily just ended up falling asleep during the movie, and when I woke up, I felt a hell of a lot better, um, nausea and pain-wise. So uh, I had one more really big meal, because um, the surgery was two hours delayed, two and a half hours delayed, I think. So um, I'd been fasting from 10 o'clock the previous night, never had my first meal until 6.30 or something yeah. like that. Um, so was that, was, that wasn't even a meal, that was... Yeah, I had a shake. <laughs> um, I bought some, uh, some bone collagen 
um, peptide protein powder. It's supposed to really help with joint and nails and, and things like that. Um, so I'm just kind of doing everything I can to help facilitate the healing process. So uh, that, some graze, which is low with antioxidants, um, some fiber, things like that, so I can poop. And uh, so I'm gonna do that like twice a day on top of my normal keto meals. Um, slept fine last night, no pain. I gave me some Ambien. And uh, I took that before I started eating, midway from my meal, and falling asleep. So uh, slept for eight hours, got up once to pee, and you know, not in a lot of pain this morning. So feel good. Um, like I said the biggest pain in the ass is I can't use my phone. <laughs> it's hard for me to really text anything. Um, I have a ton of client updates I got to take care of. So I got to learn how to do this voice to text type thing. I think it's also hard because it's your right hand. Yeah, yeah, being so. right handed, like trying to eat last night, like trying to scoop up those last little bites. A little difficult. Uh, We're also going to videotape him using the restroom and wiping his butt with his, <laughs> with his left Figured, hand. Worst case scenario, I just do like what Nazar had to do back in the day. He was so big, he couldn't wipe his own ass and just poop and then stick his ass in the shower and wash it off. God. So we'll find a way. I got four dogs. I can lick away. Oh, God, Bradley! Still high from the drugs, obviously. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can hear me kind of giggling in the back when he started talking about the collagen and the fiber and all that stuff. I caught you on camera last night. I don't know if you remember. He was like schooling the nurse about what he put in his shake. And she's like, oh, what's that? Your little protein shake? And he's like, no, actually. And he like listed 20 million things that he puts in his protein shake and the benefits of each one. And I'm just like, <laughs> and the very first thing that I asked him, like, babe, how are you feeling? Right when I walked into the, the little area where they had him recovering. How are you feeling, babe? I feel simple. <laughs> and I didn't catch it on camera and I was so angry because then he sent me to the car to go get his shake. But you were high. You were high as hell. But still teaching people about the ketogenic diet and whatever was in his shake. <laughs> so typical of you. <laughs> Always an opportunity to spread knowledge. <laughs> I don't know if anything you said was correct, but yeah. you sounded like you knew what you were talking about. Uh, all right. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for all the support, uh, getting messages left and right. I'm sorry I can't respond to everybody. Um, but thank you. Appreciate the love and support. How are you feeling when I pissed off? Uh, as evidence. As evidence. That's not. You're not upset. Remember, we're working on that. <laughs> Not allowed to be upset on camera. What's up, folks? So we're going in for my one-week post-op uh, follow-up. Get this damn cast off. Find out if I retore my bicep or not. This you did not. Stay positive. So I haven't really talked about it, but Sunday, before we go in, um, you know, post-surgery, obviously feeling a lot of pain. Moving your fingers makes sense because I had to drill a hole through my bone, through my forearm, through the bone. Um, so everything I did, like texting, anytime I had to move my fingers, it was just it was in a lot of pain. And I went and lay down and took a nap on Sunday, and I woke up. All of a sudden, I had no pain. I could almost grab full strength with my hand, do anything, lift my arm up. And to me, it just seemed like a sign that I retore my bicep because I no longer have that pressure and the tension pulling on the area, which would be the reason why I don't have pain. It's so like all the doctors on Monday. He basically put his career on the line saying that uh, he doesn't think it's feasible for me to, that I retore it, that it could have just been a nerve that was kind of impinged or something that worked its way out, and I shouldn't stress. But to me, it was kind of a weird thing. Uh, I would expect pain, and then also go from having a lot of pain to no pain. So we'll find out in a little bit, because he said he didn't want to take this off until Thursday anyway, so we'll see what happens. Here's the So... Having an injured leg is always more beneficial for my career because I can do without training them for a little bit. Right. Whereas arms, always something I've been trying to work on. It's a little dicey, huh? Yeah. The hardest thing was not sweating. At least it wasn't a thumb. Right, yeah. Like, you don't know how much oh, you get God. thumbs until yeah. they're gone. And feet. Feet are pretty bad, too. Yeah, feet are pretty bad. Thank God we don't do feet. <laughs> much my biceps disappeared. Oh, shut up. You're going to notice a difference. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> it's bound to happen. It's all right. Before you know it, you'll be back out there. Yeah. 
I'm just looking at the hair that's grown. <laughs> oh, yay! We haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. I call my wife, like, hey, uh, <laughs> you want to come shave my left arm because I can't reach? <laughs> I've got everything else pretty much covered. All right. Freedom. Yay. We got some. Yeah. Down here. That looks like fun. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Good time. You gonna compare? You gonna do both sides? <laughs> Look at that. I'm really, I'm still like scared of trying to contract it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice and easy for now. Yeah. Alright, so I'll be changing out those pads for you, the okay. white butterflies there. And these little stitch endings get clipped. Good. That looks clean. Yeah. Hey, Dad. How's that stuff that we talked about on the phone? Uh, <laughs> He's been a head said. case. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel any pain. Well, That's not normal. Still no pain. It's so, perfect. Yeah. It's a good thing. I guess we'll find out when they feel the bicep and see if it's still attached, right? <laughs> I can see it's attached. If it like completely ruptured, yeah, you would have more deformity than you have right now. Don't press on it. See all that? Yeah. I know. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, literally, I go from not being able to like trying to text was just so painful, and then I took a forty-five minute nap and I wake up I'm like, all right. Yeah. I make meals for clients. I'm like, all right, this is a perfect time to start making meals. I have no pain. <laughs> I'm like in the kitchen, and I figured. After like 30 minutes, I start feeling pain. An hour and a half goes by, and I'm still not feeling anything. I'm like, uh. I mean, that's weird, but you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs>